It's not good. I'll tell you right. I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I got a letter from a doctor the other day from Westchester, New York, around the area. He didn't want anything. He just said, sir, I have hundreds of patients, and I give them hydroxychloroquine. I give them the z pack which is zithromycin, and I give them zinc. And out of the hundreds of patients, many hundreds, over 300 patients, I've, I haven't lost one. He said, please keep pressing that, sir. Uh, and if you look at that phony report that was put in, that report on the hydroxy was given to people that were in extraordinarily bad condition. Extraordinarily bad. People that were dying. No, I, I think, for whatever it's worth, I take it. I was uh, — I, I would have told you that three, four days ago, but we never had a chance because you never asked me the question. Are you the White House doctor that? recommend that you take that? Is that why you're Yeah, White House doctor. I didn't recommend. No, I asked him, what do you think? He said, well, if you'd like it. I said, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like to take it. A lot of people are taking it. A lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine. A lot of front — I don't take it because, hey, people said, oh, maybe he owns the company. No, I don't own the company. You know what? I want the people of this nation to feel good. I don't want them being sick. And there's a very good chance that this has an impact, especially early on. But you look at frontline workers, you look at doctors and nurses, a lot of them are taking it as a preventative. And they're taking — totally unrelated, but they take the z pack or the zithromycin for possible infection. Now, I haven't taken that other than an original dose, because the, all you need — you don't have to take it simultaneously. But the zinc you do take. So I'm taking the two, the zinc and the hydroxy. And all I can tell you is, so far, I seem to be okay. Can you explain, sir, though, why you started taking it? Have you been exposed? Yeah, because — no, no, not at all. I just said that I've had so many letters from people, like the one I told you about. I got it last week. I'll give you — would you like a copy of it? I'd love to give you. If you ask Molly, she'll give you a copy of it. But this is a doctor. He doesn't want anything. I don't know him. Never heard of him. But he treats people that are — that we're talking about. And he said out of hundreds of people that he's treated, he hasn't lost one. And he just wanted me to know about it. That's all. It wasn't — he wasn't saying, gee, could I have dinner with you, Mr. President? I'd like to come to the White House. But I've received many such letters. I've received a lot of positive letters. And it seems to have an impact. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But if it doesn't, you're not going to get sick or die. This is a — a uh, pill that's been used for — I know your — your prime minister has been a very good friend of mine. I just got back a short while ago from India recently. And uh, we're working very much with India, too. And we have a tremendous Indian population in the United States. And uh, many of the people that you're talking about are working on the vaccine, too. Great scientists and researchers. Yeah. We're ver working very — Had a final decision to fully defund the w our contribution to the WHO going forward. Well, I have a uh, concept because we paid four hundred and fifty thousand, and somebody came out because we have different uh, ideas. One was that uh, I mean I could ask these brilliant people. Uh, so we help fund the World Health Organization. We use it like everyone else does. They gave us a lot of very bad advice, terrible advice. They were wrong so much, always on the side of China. China paid $40 million last year, and we've been paying $450 million a year for many years. Somehow that doesn't work out too well. So I was thinking about bringing our 450 down to 40. And some people thought that was too much. So uh, we're going to make a decision fairly soon. But I think it's very unfair when we're paying 450. For many, many years, we've been paying 300, 400, 450, almost 500 sometimes. And, uh, and we're not treated right. And we're not treated by World Trade. We're not treated right either. The World Trade Organization. China there is considered a developing nation. If you're a developing nation, you get massive tax advantages and other advantages. Well, I want the United States to be a developing nation then, okay? We should get the same advantages as China gets. Why should China 
get advantages over the United States because they got somebody to say they're a developing nation. Uh, and so uh, that's under review also. About what, what can you say? So what else is new with China? What else is new? Tell me. I'm not happy with China. They should have stopped this at the source. They could have stopped it right at the source. So now you're telling me they're hacking. So I just say this, Steve, what else is new? Up, We're sir. watching it very closely. The, uh, the, if I could follow up, sir, the South uh, China Morning Post, the Beijing newspaper, says that China would like to reopen negotiations on the trade deal to make the terms more favorable to them. Is this something you'd be interested in doing? Uh, no, not at all. Not even a little bit, no. I'm not interested. We signed a deal. I had heard that, too. They'd like to reopen the trade talk to make it a, a better deal for them. Uh, China has been taking advantage of the United States for many, many years, for decades, because we had people at this position right here where I'm standing, sitting right in that office, the Oval Office, that allowed that to happen. No, I'm not interested in that. Let's